Welcome back to I-24 News' special coverage of the 50th anniversary of the Six-Day War. I'm Khaled Ben David. And I'm Nareed Ben. Israel's quick victory in that war was largely the result of the Air Force's stunning success in destroying air power of Egypt, Syria, and Jordan, all on the very first day of the conflict. Our senior defense correspondent, Shai Ben Ari, takes us inside the air operation that changed the Middle East. It's considered one of the most successful air campaigns in the history of warfare. Operation Focus, or Moked in Hebrew, was the preemptive assault launched by the Israeli Air Force against the air forces of four Arab states on June 5, 1967, the surprise attack that marked the start of the Six-Day War. On the morning of June 5th, Israeli fighter jets suddenly appeared in the skies above 11 different Egyptian airfields. They had taken off while maintaining complete radio silence to ensure the element of surprise. They flew at low altitude to evade Egyptian radar systems. The time of arrival at target, 0745 hours, was not coincidental. At 745, the alert was finished and they went to eat breakfast. And while they are having the tea and and the, and the salad and the eggs and all that, suddenly bombs on the base. Retired Major General Herzl Bodinger took part in the operation as a young fighter pilot. We passed the border. Now the land is unknown. We never flew there before. And we are passing over a, a, a tank co convoy from uh, Egyptians. And they are standing on the roof and waving hello to us, which showed that they didn't know who we are. And I, in my mind, it came up that uh, you, you are waving and we are, accept your wave. You lost the war. Nearly all of Israel's 196 combat planes were committed to the mission, including French-made Vautours, Mysteres, Ouragans, and Mirage 3s. Only 12 jets were held back for defensive purposes. The Israeli planes first focused on destroying the Egyptian runways using specially designed anti-runway bombs. Afterwards, they continued to circle the airfields while targeting Egyptian aircraft that were left stranded on the ground. 197 Egyptian planes were destroyed just in this initial wave of attack. Only eight of these ever managed to get in the air. The Israeli jets then rushed back to their home bases, rearming and refueling before taking off again within minutes. Last run, I get a knock in the aircraft, and I'm looking on the instrument panel. I see on the left, uh, left side engine, the um, fuel gauge is starting to leak, to go down. Bodinger realized he had just enough fuel left to reach Israel's southernmost city. Over the cranes of the port of uh, Eilat, I lost, uh, the, I reached the last uh, drop of fuel, I shut down the right engine, now the runway is in front of me and I touched the, the overrun of the runway, I stopped. The second wave of attack began only 109 minutes after the first. 107 more Egyptian planes were destroyed in this strike. By midday, the air forces of Jordan, Syria, and Iraq had begun bombing targets in Israel, just as Israeli jets were about to begin a third wave of strikes against Egypt. In response, Israeli Air Force Chief Major General Moti Hod decided to divert planes to attack air bases in Jordan, Syria, and even Iraq. The small Jordanian Air Force was wiped out in this wave of strikes, while half of Syria's fighter jets were destroyed on the first day of the war. The H-3 airfield in western Iraq was targeted because of the tuple of Tu-16 bombers stationed there. Herzl Bodinger was among the pilots sent to bomb them on the second day of the war. On the way, they spotted a division of Iraqi tanks positioned on the border with Jordan. I said, let's do something. So they, were, they got my idea. and We went one run on the tanks. The people ran away and they did. They, we were now on the second day of the war. They didn't reach the wall. With complete air superiority achieved, the Israeli Air Force was free to concentrate on strikes against the collective ground forces of its enemies, a critical factor in the capture of the Sinai Peninsula, the West Bank, and the Golan Heights. At least 451 enemy aircraft were destroyed by the Israeli Air Force during Operation Focus. The vast majority of them were still on the ground. Israel lost 46 planes of its own during the war. The victories achieved by the Israeli Air Force in the Six-Day War made its commanders national heroes. To this day, few positions in Israeli society carry more prestige than that of fighter pilot.